We have all learned in these past nine months that the coronavirus affects so many, no matter how old, how strong, or how healthy. It had one Stark County man asking, am I ever going to see my kids again? The 34-year-old gets emotional just thinking about that question. He is another face of COVID. Family, a beautiful one at that. Sam and Andrea Soretta say they live for these little smiling faces. Happiness is truly like a halo over this picture. It's that same family bond jumping out of this image that got this family through the most difficult time of their lives. A COVID-19 battle that stretched days, weeks, now more than a month. Your mind obviously goes, it can go to the worst place. And for all I, I knew for how bad I was getting, I, I could have potentially seen my family one for the last time. There was no goodbye to it. And um, I, I was just trying to think of how can I see my kids one more time. Sam had those thoughts while he was here, sitting in a hospital bed. His journey with COVID-19 started on Halloween, day one. We got two kids and we have long days at work and maybe I was just tired that day kind of thing. But um, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little out of breath just talking so quickly. No, um, no worries. But fatigue turned to soreness, then chills and a fever. He tested positive for COVID and isolated. This was day three but the family says they had no idea what was about to happen. He woke up day 11 and could not breathe. His lips were blue and his eyes were blue. The oxometer wouldn't even read. Andrea, a nurse, knew she had to get Sam to a hospital. All of a sudden, you don't know what to do. Like, I know what to do if it's my patient. Sam was a patient. She couldn't nurse back to health. Taking him there and having to leave him was the hardest thing. I've ever had to do. I just sat in the parking lot and called me and he's like, why are you still in the parking lot? And I'm like, I don't know. I just can't leave you. Sam's battle in the hospital was rough. A fever that wouldn't quit. Shakes, oxygen, discussions of ventilators and a hospital transfer. But COVID is so rampant in Ohio, Sam says, there was no place for him to be transferred to. Somehow with family on his mind, he turned a corner. Fast forward to day 18, Sam was told he could return home to his wife and children. That was my entire focus while I was in the hospital. Obviously my wife too, but just being able to be dad for them for as long as I can be. Sam is still on oxygen. He can't get out of bed without it. My legs are legs chicken are legs now. Chicken leg. He lost 20 pounds, but he gained perspective. You, you just really have no idea how bad it can get, how easy it's going to be. Obviously, I hope that if anybody gets it, they don't have to go through the amount of stress physically and mentally that we went through as a family. A family happy once again. A father embracing his littles, not questioning when he'll see them again. Because for now, home is where they'll be. I'm so touched by that family. Now, Sam took to Facebook to share some of his experience and part of it really stuck. He writes, you need to tuck your kids into bed at night. Give your spouse a kiss. You need to stay healthy for the holidays. Please slow down. It's a great time to do it. A message from a young father who was happy to stay at home with his wife and kids tonight. And Russ, I guess, as the holidays, as we move into the holiday season, he is happy to do that as well. Oh, definitely. It's certainly a message we can all learn from. Wow. What a story. Glad all is well with him. Exactly. Thank you so much, Laura. Sure.